Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I'm going to share with you a few things that you should definitely avoid saying if your friend is opening up to you. That shares that they're going through a tough time, that life is a little bit difficult because I'm sure we've all been in situations like that and then we've said the wrong thing and that conversation just goes sideways. I, I've said the wrong things many times before and I've actually ruined relationships and I don't, I don't want that to happen to you. I don't want you to lose all your friends because you have so few. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not. It might be true, but, but I... No! I, in, 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 in all honesty, I'm just, I'm just sharing this with you because... Like to the, to be, I know what it's like to be that person that kind of needs that support and kind of needs to hear like a few certain things. And like, this is just what you shouldn't say to that type of person because they're struggling. They're going through a bit of a tough time. Number one, definitely do not say this, just get over it. Huh, wow, well done. You just told me to get over it. Cool, sweet, I'm good. I'll be good tomorrow, great. That's not how it works, right? At all, you just, basically, when you say just get over it, it's like you're invalidating feelings. Right? It's like you're a brown parent. Like it's like, you know, you feel, oh, yo, I'm so I'm sad today. I've been sad for a while now. Like I'm really anxious. I'm really worried. It's just like just a vodka off. Like it's some physical ailment or something. Right? You can't just get over it. Can't just walk it off. It's not. It's not how it works. Right? You got to take some time. Kind of got to dive through it and really just validate those feelings. Don't ever say just get over it. Two. Don't say this either. Don't say it could be worse. It's like, man. Oh. You're right, okay, cool, great. I shouldn't feel this bad because it could definitely be a lot, a lot worse. And like, you might be, that might be factual. Like, it could be worse is, theoretically, it's a fact, right? But no one wants to hear that because it's like, man, I shouldn't feel this bad. Like, I shouldn't feel how I'm feeling right now. I should be feeling a lot better. And so you know what I'm gonna feel instead about that feeling? I'm gonna be feeling guilty that I feel this bad. And then it's just like, it's like emotion squared, right? Like I'm feeling sad and frustrated and annoyed that this happened, but I'm also feeling guilty that ha that, that happened as well, that I feel this way about it. It's like, whoa, don't, don't say that, right? It could be a lot worse. Number three, I know exactly how you feel. No, no, you don't. You don't know how exactly how I feel, unless you've been through like a similar experience. Like, you know, you know, if you're, if you know, if your parents are going through a divorce and like my parents have gone through a divorce, then maybe to some extent we might be able to relate, right? But I'd still just avoid saying this. Like I know exactly how you feel. Don't say it. Number four, you should try X, Y, Z. This is a very masculine thing to do. Like I know a lot of guys, when we, um, when I'm going through a tough time and we're hanging out with another mate of ours and then we share something immediately the go-to thing is like solutions, solutions, solutions. Like it's a very kind of masculine kind of mindset towards to approach things. Sometimes it's good to really just feel the feeling, right? And also sometimes unsolicited advice, actually more often than not where I think about it, it's just annoying. It's like, man, I don't want anything to be solved right now. If I want it to be solved, I'll ask, yeah? So whatever you do, if you're not specifically asked or you don't feel like that person is asking like advice from you, don't do it, don't give it. Yeah, don't give them options on how to deal with it, right? Just sit with them, listen. Number five, oh, at least you still have, and whatever comes after that sentence, oh, at least you still have this friend of yours, or, or at least you still have that going for you. Nah, don't, don't do that. You are failing to acknowledge the difficulty of their situation, right? Just acknowledge the difficulty of it. Right? You don't have to, you don't have to say, and you don't have to like, ask them and force them to be grateful for what they currently have. You don't have to do that, right? Like they know what they have. In that time, they just need, you know, just need someone to validate how they're feeling. Number six, you're being too sensitive. Once again, whilst this might be like factual, just don't say it because you're invalidating emotions again. You are once again dismissing emotions. You're making them feel guilty for the way that they're feeling. And number seven, this is a bit of a controversial one, but I definitely don't say it anymore and I don't like saying it either. And that is everything happens for a reason. It's like, I think at, if, I'm, like, if I'm all the way here, I don't wanna hear that. But if I'm kind of on the up on the incline a little bit, like I've dealt with a little bit of the emotions, then I wanna hear it. That person that's opening up to you, who like you can feel, like humans can feel the emotions that they're feeling, right? It's called empathy right? That's your ability to do that. And if we can feel, if we can empathize that, man, this is like a really heavy and strong feeling that they're feeling right now, 
and like they're going through it, do not say this, right? Everything happens for a reason, right? It's a, once again, you're trying to solve the problem. That's not what you're trying to do here, right? Just validate and be receptive and just be there for that person, right? If they're up on the incline, then maybe you might be able to say it, right? But you got to pick your moments, right? You have to be emotionally intelligent to know when to say this thing, right? And also some of the other things that I mentioned before, like you could say them, you just got to really, really pick your moments here very carefully. When you're dealing with a person that's quite fragile, just be extremely aware and alert of the words that come out of your mouth. And if you need to take the time to kind of pause and just sit with yourself a little, a little bit before you say anything, then you can take that time. All right? Who said you can't pause and be quiet for a little bit, even a couple of minutes? You know? So yeah, <laughs> these are just a few things that you should definitely avoid saying if someone is opening up to you. All right, by the way, if you want to figure out how to support someone going through a tough time, make sure you check out this video over here. I feel like this video plus that video is a great combination to have to support someone who's, you know, having a little bit of a tough period in their life, right? With these two things, I feel like you'll be unstoppable and you'll be a great friend, right? You'll be a great support to people in your life. All right. So I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you like the video and you subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next one. Catch you later. Bye.